Hello, hello. Well, today we're going to focus on what I call the shoe crisis because that's what it is in our house. Since I started cleaning my house, I no longer want people to wear shoes in the house because it makes it more dirty. So I'm asking my kids and my husband and even myself to take off their shoes when they come in. And that means we need an organized drop zone. Let me show you what that drop zone looks like right now. Here's, here's the situation, folks. Does this look familiar to you? Let's take a little tour here. We have a coat on the ground. And then we have just a collection of shoes just thrown in here. Very, very disorganized, disheveled looking coat closet. There's plenty of space here, but it's just not being used well. And clearly there's not a process in place for shoes in our house. So that's what I'm gonna work on today is getting this organized. And I'll show you how I think we are going to start organizing our shoes. So the first thing I've done is basically empty everything out of the closet. I've taken all the coats out, I've removed all of the shoes, and I've even removed everything that was hanging on the door. Now you may be wondering what these three containers are. Oh, I'm so glad you asked. These are what I'm gonna call the in-play shoes. These are shoes that you are currently wearing that day. So you'll notice I've got a pair of shoes in my bin, but my girls' bins are empty because they're at school wearing those pair of shoes. So they can have one pair of shoes in play at all times, and this is where they store them. So let's say they come home from school today, they'll place their shoes in this bin. Then when it's time for us to leave the house again and go to church tonight, they'll use these same pair of shoes. If they wanna switch shoes, they need to take the shoes out of the bin, upstairs to their room, and switch their shoes out. So ideally, there should only be three pairs of shoes in this closet at all times. My husband is great about taking his shoes off and taking them up to his closet, so he doesn't need um, the extra help that the girls and I need. So that's how we are organizing shoes um, right now. Notice all this extra space we have now. I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that in just a minute. Before, before I go any further, I wanna give you a look at all the stuff I took out of this closet and that needs to be organized. I mean, check this out. I have three backpacks that no one's using. I only have two kids. We've got some crutches here. We have this little stool. I'm not even sure where that came from. We've got summer stuff. We've got winter stuff. Just a menagerie of items that need to be sorted through. I'll let you know the count on how many pairs of shoes were tucked away in here. I found a bunch of socks that are probably have their mate in my laundry room. So before I start putting things back and telling you more about how I'm gonna organize this, I wanna really give this sucker a good clean. So I'm gonna use my little vacuum to vacuum out the inside. If you've watched other of my videos, you know that I absolutely love this little stick vacuum that is a knockoff of Dyson's vacuum. It, the brand is Easy Home and you can find this at Costco. It runs about $60. I have had the Dyson vacuum in the past, the one that is about $300 to $400, depending on the model. And I hate to say it, but this one works, I, I can't really find much difference. Um, these little stick vacuums, no matter the brand, they do need to be emptied out and cleaned quite frequently. That's the only thing that I don't like about them. But this one is completely cordless and it holds a charge for 45 minutes. So I'm gonna use it to vacuum out this space. Okay, so I've added little labels with everyone's name so everyone knows which bin is theirs. And I'm gonna go ahead and warn you when you institute this process with your kids, it's gonna be more work for you for about a week. I already, I already can hear the whining and complaining in my head um, as I roll this out to my kids. I know that I'm gonna to have to remind them probably every day for seven to 10 days to do this. So it's not gonna be you know natural and instant, but I think it's really gonna pay off, um, not only in just having a cleaner floor by not having so much dirt tracked everywhere, but also it's so much better for your shoes. I think shoes, you know, I, I'm noticing as I'm looking through this pile, I think these shoes have gotten beaten up because they're all laying together on a dirty floor. So um, it's just a better way to care for shoes as well. All right, this little basket here is for in-play socks. So I don't have any socks on. Um, when my kids 
are taking off their shoes, they a, a lot of times want to take off their socks and they'll just place them in this basket. So that's where I'm going to ask them to keep their in play socks. And then at the end of the day, of course, they need to be put in their dirty clothes. Now you'll notice that I took out one of these um, levels or one of these shelves in my shoe rack. I'm just going to store that back there because um, I don't know when I'll need it again. And then I am going to continue to store paint in this closet because I don't like to store paint in my garage because of the temperature changes. I think you'll get a kick out of this. I wanted to show you the number of hats that I pulled out of this closet. Now understand that we live in North Carolina. It snows maybe once a year. It gets below freezing a handful of times. We don't live in a snowy climate. Look at how many hats we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, that one's cute. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13. So I'm going to eliminate some of these and donate them. All right, let's take a look. I'm pretty excited about how this turned out. First, I'm going to show you something I'm going to remove. I am getting rid of these in my house, these things that hang over doors. I'm going to tell you why because every time I open a door, something like slings at me and it just stresses me out. I don't like it. And it ruins the doors and I just don't like the way it looks. These are great. I mean, they really are for organizing and hanging towels and stuff, but I just don't like them. So I'm getting rid of it. Um, look at this precious artwork, my kids self portrait. So I decided instead of just throwing these away, I do a lot of that with art Isn't that horrible. I'm posting it on the door so they can look at it when they, when they get their shoes and their little bins. So we've got their shoe bins here again. We've got our in-play socks. And then this is a little um, shocking device. I know it sounds mean. I have like a 150 pound dog and I use this when we go on walks. He gets can sometimes get a little crazy when he sees squirrels. So that's what that is. Um, up here, I decided to keep these two backpacks. The third one I'm gonna donate. The reason why is because when we go on road trips, my girls like to have backpacks for stuff in the car and I don't want them emptying out their school backpacks because then we lose all that stuff and it's just a mess. So two backpacks, dog leashes and collars, an umbrella, two bags um, that I use for trips for myself, kids activities, I have two of those hanging there. And then I went through our coats and back here, in kind of the low use area, I have my ski jacket because I never go skiing. I hate skiing. I'm admitting it to the world, but I do have a ski coat. Um, and I'll use it if it does snow here. Usually in North Carolina, it'll snow in late February, early March. So I do like to have this coat. It also fits my eight year old daughter um, when, if she wants to play in the snow. These are all my coats and then one of my daughter's coats. Um, my two girls have their jackets at school. Um, Okay, up here I have hats, scarves, gloves, and my summer little organizing um, thing for the pool. So inside of there I have end date sunscreens. It's sunscreen that's not going to expire until this coming summer is over. Goggles, just all the diving rings, all the things that at the end of the summer you're like, oh, I don't want to ever see this again. They're in that um, container. I'm sure I'll be very excited when it's pool time to see all that stuff again. So you may wonder why I have hats, gloves, and scarves up so high. It's because we rarely use these items. Again, it doesn't snow much here. There's not many super cold days. Um, but I am going to go and get a little plastic stool to put in the bottom here because every day my girls will throw their coats on the ground and I'll tell them to hang them up. They'll say, oh, we can't reach. So I'm going to remove that excuse for them by placing a little plastic stool at the bottom of this coat closet. Um, and again, I'm leaving the paint because I don't want to store it in the garage and it fits nicely in there. So that's it. Nothing fancy. Um, I'm interested to see how this new process of shoe um, containment, only having one pair of shoes in play each day goes. I hope it goes well. Let me know in the comments section below if you decide to try this and how it works for you. Thanks so much.